Hi everybody, I want to show you a couple of my favorite tricks on the internet. Now I'm looking for this guy Brett Martin, and he has his character named Cleavon, but I'm going to spell Cleavon incorrectly. I hit search. The first search item comes up with an article about Brett Fetzer and Martin Mull. Brett and Martin were both searched, and there was Cleavon Little down there. If you'll notice the, the four little dots here, those dots mean, every time you hit those dots, that means it's a separate article. So you want to try to find Brett Martin and Cleavon together, but these dots let you know when you're searching for something, that each time you see the dot, 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 that's a different article. We want Brett Martin and Cleavon all together. I'm putting Brett Martin in quotations. Now when I do this search, the search will come up with only Brett Martin together, not Brett Fetzer and Martin Mole separated where there's just a Brett popping up and just a Martin popping up. First thing that comes up is Brett Martin. And every article all the way down has Brett Martin together. It has to because the search was in quotations. We can also search images. And there will be all the pictures. I can search videos. I can search news. Now news is a good one because if something came out about me and it was recent and I click news, there's nothing in the news about me. Now I'm searching Rachel Corey. There's Rachel Corey. If I want to find out something recent about Rachel Corey, I click news. And there we are, 10 hours ago, a story about Rachel Corey just came out. So click news and in order of when they came out, all the stories will come out. That's another big time saver. And there was an article, I can't seem to find it as I'm hunting around. It was written by some guy named Tucker, but I can't seem to find it. So what I do, on a PC, you hit Control F for find. On a, a Mac, which I have, I hit Command F for find. So I'm going to hit Command F, and the screen pops up. I'm going to punch in Tucker, because the guy that wrote that was named Tucker. And look what happens. The second I do that, you should see what happens there. Tucker popped up right there. Let me, let me take that back off. I put in Tucker, T-U-C-K-E-R, and the second I write that, anywhere in the article, anywhere, any website you go to, if I was looking for the word no, N-O, I'll punch in N-O, then you'll see everywhere as I punch this down, everywhere in this article where from no in November to no in note, so that's a great way to search around. Here I am in YouTube, in my comments section. Okay, now typically, if someone makes a comment, I can hit see all comments, and I can go right to his comment to respond to it. So I hit that. But sometimes, if it's a thread and a series of conversations, sometimes you can't find it. So rather than hunting around and scrambling through all the comments trying to find it, just remember what the last word or significant word that guy said was. This guy, like somewhere in there, someone called me a gringo. So I'm going to hit Command F, and I'm going to punch in Gringo, G-R-I-N-G-O. And look what happens. It pops up. It takes me right to the comment the guy made. If you're hunting around anywhere on the Internet, anywhere on your computer, YouTube, anywhere else, and you can't find a word you're looking for, do Command F or Control F and punch in that word, and there it is, Gringo. And I found, I went right to the comment the guy made. So it's a great time saver. Is command and F right there I hold them down at the same time after I do that and punch in the word I want I hit this down button and I keep going the down arrow and every single time that word shows up anywhere it'll just keep scrolling down the document until it finds it you don't even have to be online you can be doing it on a word document anywhere incredible time saver let me show you another time saver. I'm getting ready to reply to this guy who said something nice to me on this particular video, my immigrant video. Thank, I'm pretty slow, you, my friend, my friend. Okay, sometimes you post a comment and it disappears. Don't worry. Let's say you post a really big comment. You take your mouse, go over here, and you highlight what it is you made. And then you do Command C on a Mac or Control C. Now I've copied it. So if something happens and it gets deleted, I hit Command V or Control V 
and I paste it back in. So whenever you make a comment that you've spent some time on, you're afraid that somehow YouTube won't accept it, just copy it. And that way, if it gets lost, you can paste it back in. My last little trick is Facebook. I'm going to show you one little trick in Facebook. If you hear the baby screaming, my wife is putting him down. I'm not letting him scream on his own, just so you know. So here I am in Facebook. Videos of me. I, didn't, I never made any videos. Sometimes people tag me on videos, and it's a little frustrating because I put my name on a tag where I wasn't in the video, and I'll end up getting dozens of comments or hundreds of comments I didn't ask for. I open up videos of me, so I double click on the video, and then I go down and I find my name. There it is, Brett Martin. So I go Brett Martin, Brett Martin, videos, remove tag. And that video disappears. And now that video is gone. That's how you do it. Those are my little tricks that saved me lots of time. And I hope you enjoyed them. I would like to know your tricks.